Hello everybody. In this video, we'll be talking about preferences. Setting up your preferences, it can make things a lot easier for you. So you'll come into, you'll go to edit, and you come down to preferences here. Okay. So when you get here, you can change all kinds of things. Basically go through, I'll just say right now, in case I start to run out of time, but go through and check all of these and see what, you know, any of them do that you might want to change. But I'll just talk about some of the ones I like to change. With the interface here, okay, hotkeys. What I call hotkeys, they call keyboard shortcuts. If you go into configure right now, you'll see all these things here. So open up something like, go here to the tools and open that. Okay. Ah, ah. What's going on with this? There we go. Jeez Louise. So I just opened up the tools. And if you look, you'll have a lot of values over here for your different tools. All kinds of them already that are defaultly set up for you. Lots of letters and combinations of keys and stuff like that set up. So one thing I do is I'll always go here and I click remove all short the keyboard shortcuts. I take all the hotkeys out and then right away I'll go in to configure and I will go in and change the ones I use a lot. So like in edit, that's the ones I change the most and use the most. So standard, I'll right away do a control C for copy and paste. And clear, I use clear all the time. I forgot to label that for a while and I missed it a lot. <laughs> and I couldn't, I wasn't able to change it for a little while. I almost had a setting set to where it was not accepting it to change. Oh, and it was crazy. I couldn't live without that delete. I had to keep going up and clearing things out manually. Just like uh, paste, control V, cut. I'll change that now. I haven't set that one. So I'll control X. I'll put, I'll put control X for that one because I use that every now and then also. So just go through and whichever ones you like, undo and redo control Z control Y they're already set up for you as that I got used to using them and I love them I love those ones but the main reason I had chain looked into even changing my hotkeys in the first place was because it interfered with the uh, recordings like uh, for me to zoom in on my recordings it's F9 and for me to zoom out it's F10. Well, that was interfering. Those hotkeys were interfering with GIMP. So different things would happen that I wouldn't want to happen. As well as other hotkeys as, as well. So I just went through and changed all my hotkeys. And now I only have it set to where the ones I want to use. And I like to use. I would set up more, but it would interfere with other programs. So I don't bother. But that's one thing you should probably look into doing is configuring your hotkeys to the way you like them. And that way it also will, you'll avoid, when you're doing other things, it'll avoid things happening in GIMP that you don't want to happen. Tool options. Okay. I select this. doesn't seem to affect anything. But on my move tool, I was hoping that the, it would default to 
uh, be set for the active layer or path, so it would be selected to this, but it isn't, and it never is. I always have to do to select that, and I forget all the time still. <laughs> toolbox what you can show default okay so when you go to open up a new window or a new project a new file you can set what you would like that to be default as so I have my width and height set to 780 and 650 that's pretty much what the screen is right here okay what that is set for and I put my fill as transparency and comment created with GIMP by GIMP core.blogspot.com <laughs> okay so if we look here we'll go to file new and automatically It'll it's set to open up a new file at 780 and 650, and it'll be transparent when I click OK. So there we go. Some of the other preferences and other tricks also. We'll go into like, uh, well, let me just check some of these other ones really quick. Okay, the marching ants. Okay, when you select something, there's the dotted lines that move around it. Default value is 200. I'd change mine to 100 so they move a little bit faster. Okay, so to show you that, go to File, New. Okay, click the magic wand. We'll close this out. Click on this. Now you see these marching ants. And I raise mine up to a value of 100 so they move faster. The lower the number, the faster they'll move. The higher the number, the slower they will move. Okay. Let's look at some of the other preferences really quick. I say really quick, but I don't do much quick. <laughs> I always go to my maximum time limit allowed. Right now it's 15 minutes on YouTube. Woohoo! Okay. And you can change the way things act when you zoom in and zoom out. Well, that's another thing on those hotkeys. Um. The D set, but you can set your values for uh, changing these really quick. Your zooms, zooming in and out. I have not reset mine um, just because too many of the keys will interact with uh, other programs, especially my recordings, so I don't bother. But that, if I didn't do so many recordings, I would definitely be using that for my hotkeys. Window management. Excellent one. Okay. So, by default, lots of things by default on this one. Okay. If you'll notice, by default, when you click on this here, when you move your window, around it's always behind your toolbox and your other docks okay well that's a standard that's a standard setting in GIMP the way you can change that is to go into preferences go to window management and utility windows and set that to normal. Okay. Set both of those to normal. And then click OK. Now it says 
it'll happen on restart okay and it'll change those so we'll click OK and we close GIMP we'll reopen it okay so now when we click on this it's above the toolbox and the docs nice feature that many people would like to know about but one thing you can do so why do I keep mine the other way around well I like having them on top most of the time so I keep mine on utility window okay let's okay so that'll change when it'll go back to utility window when we restart but I'm gonna stop this again and show you something else so I might as well show you that now preferences okay so one of the things you can do is your windows how you like your windows set up So let's say you like your toolbox to be shorter like that and you want this window further over and your docks maybe you like that to be smaller also and you want a larger image area for that off as well so you have a bigger canvas to work from one of the things you can do so go in here, go to your preferences, go to window management, and click on save window positions now. Okay. Click OK. Now we'll close our GIMP. And we will reopen our GIMP. And now you see, as it opens up, we have the bigger canvas size with the smaller toolbox and the smaller other docks here as well. You can change your docks, what docks start up also. So just go through and check all your preferences. I recommend that for sure. And let's see, what else? really quick oh so as I was saying I like my toolbox on top of my canvas and my docs too but when I'm working in full screen in a larger screen isn't that annoying it is it can be but one thing you can do is press your tab key and now this is what's on top and then if you need your tools again so we're here we can work in full screen mode and we don't have to worry about the tools and everything but we don't have to go down here and click to get them either just hit tab again and they come back so you can do something with a layer and pick a different tool click on your canvas and click tab again and they will leave when you want them back just click tab okay also to go from full screen down to the smaller screen again just double click at the top of the toolbar there and it'll bring you back to where what canvas size you had okay I think I will end this here for now and we will talk about some other preferences and tricks you might want on a different video but I want to get this ended in time okay hope this was helpful once again